Hey, what's up? It's Greg and Fisherman Tech Coolers, and today is Monday, August 21st. Taking a stroll up onto the beach here, Mid Island, Long Beach Island. Share an updated fishing report with you folks for the Long Beach Island area here. Share a little recap what went down this past weekend. Uh, it was a beautiful one if you were on the LBI. Uh, you probably know that it was an awesome one, low dew point, low humidity, beautiful weather. Um, they had a little craziness with Taylor Swift, but other than that, uh, things were kind of uh, just an average, beautiful, say, mid to late summer weekend here in LBI. Uh, the fishing was really good. Had some good quality fishing taking place on the surf, the inlet, the bay, the ocean. Uh, lots of different opportunities. As I stroll on the beach right now, I got a beach rake uh, just coming up on me here, so the sound might be a little affected. But if you were on my last video, I had some, uh, had some uh, helicopters that were kind of bothering, so this, this is nothing new here. But it's kind of the hustle and the bustle of LBI in the summertime. It's part of the, how we swing here. Uh, but yeah, there has been some weedy conditions on the beach. I'll mention that while the rake's going by. Um, heard some reports from the Barnegalite area that were definitely on the weedy side uh, on Friday sounds like it kind of cleaned up a little bit throughout the weekend but there definitely will be patches of weeds that's just part of surf fishing off the surf i'd be fishing for kingfish uh also fluke kingfish has been on the slower side this year definitely not um definitely not great but there are a couple getting caught uh most of the action off the surf is going to be fluke i've heard some great fluke fish reports uh, in the last say a couple days last couple weeks really all summer fluke fishing has been awesome um, almost everyone off the surf is catching fluke using gulp. You could use a jerk shad, a gulp grub, a swing mullet. There's other ones as well, but those would be the three most popular. Fish white, white and pink, chartreuse, uh, white glow. Those are definitely the, the top cut, catching colors. There are some specialty ones. Some people fish other ones, but we sell, you know, 100 to one of those colors over the other colors, but there are other ones. There's a sardine, there's a, there's a macro color, uh, new penny, you could go on and on about all the different colors, but for the most part, those are the ones. Pink shine, white, uh, chartreuse. Dirty water chartreuse is definitely a good one. But for most other conditions, white, white glow, pink, pink shine, those, those are the goods. Um, if you're fishing off the, off the surf, you can also check out um, some meteor baits, whether you want to fish some fresh mullet we've had in stock. Uh, maybe you wanted to fish uh, mackerel or bunker. Those will give you some opportunities to catch some of the bluefish that are around. Uh, also, say a meteor bait would also get you a skater or, or ray or shark, uh, any of those, say, quote unquote, garbage fish. Just if you're targeting um, those, just know the rules in, ter in terms of um, the shark regulations. In the bay, there's still some good quality fluke fishing taking place. Most of those fish are on the way out, so if you want to find where they're funneling out in the inlet, you definitely find some nice fish. Brennan Craig weighed in a seven pound fluke just this weekend. Uh, also, as far as weigh-ins go, we also had some sheep's head that came out of Barney Inlet. You'll find some in the structure in the bay, and you also find them in the inlet. Uh, I think we had three sh sheep said weighed in, so definitely it's uh, prime time sheepy fishing right now. Uh, if you want to fish for tog, tog's open. Green crabs and sand fleas would be your best bet on the Barney Light Jetty fishing structure. Also the inshore, nearshore wrecks. Uh, the snags, they'll have some, uh, some tog, probably some triggers, some sheep's head, even some black drum and whatnot. Uh, right now, as I walk more, say, more close to the uh, water's edge, or closer to the water's edge, uh, You'll see we've got a little bit of a swell, very, very small, much, much smaller than we had earlier in the week, uh, weekend. Uh, we had a very powerful swell there show up. I guess it was uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, kind of, kind of faded out yesterday. Right now we've got a residual, say, one foot swell. Looks like all week we'll have one to two foot swell in the water. Uh, right now we've got a west-southwest. I think it's swinging more southerly throughout the day. It was a breezy one yesterday out of the south. Uh, and tomorrow, it looks like the wind's going to swing around to a 180 and head up more northerly, northeast, and blow pretty hard in the morning. So be on the lookout for that. Probably be a little more on the sloppy side. Um, I actually canceled my charter for the morning. I, I had some plans to go out and fish the wrecks and reefs, do some fluking. It's been awesome fishing for me. Last week, I did really good. Uh, I actually went out with Frezza on, maybe that was Thursday or Friday. I had some really, really good quality fishing. Uh, fishing like 60, 70 foot of water. Fluke fishing was phenomenal. Uh, we limited out in probably an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, we only kept our, our two overs uh, for the table, but we were throwing back a lot, of, a lot of good fish. We had our slots really quick, and uh, we threw a bunch of overs back. Actually, tagged a number of fish too. So it was a good, good time. Uh, I can share tuna fishing's happening still in shore, mid shore. Heard of some good quality yellowfin fishing action more in mid shore, 30, 40 fathom line at the classic areas. Um, yeah, the squid bite still goes on. That, that's kind of a historic, awesome thing we've never really seen in this 
say abundance and duration before squid and, and, and tuna just snapping there in the inshore lumps. Um, I guess as far as the fishing goes, you've got some bluefish around, got some fluke around, still some striped bass. Dan De Pasquale uh, got into some good schooly striped bass action on the bunker, uh, the small peanut bunker pods in the bay. I uh, said they were slapping them. I'm sure some of that action at night's probably good. I haven't been venturing out at night personally. Uh, Dan De Pasquale also reported some good quality false albacore fishing yesterday. I think he's out right now. He sent me a photo of a couple weak fish he caught. Yeah, we so it seems like some weak fish are sl slowly invading. Uh, I kind of alluded to that in the last report that they're, sl they're slowly showing up. I think some more will be coming in here. Uh, blow fishing was slow earlier in the year. It seems like that's increasing, getting a little better. So hopefully uh, th this, this season keeps on progressing here as we get into late part of summer. Hopefully you're getting out and enjoying fishing here in Long Beach Island and the Barnegat Bay and in the, in the uh, general area. Uh, if you are, share reports with us if you'd like to. Uh, hopefully my reports have brought value to you now and throughout the entire season so far. And I'll do my best to keep these reports kind of coming uh, throughout the entire, uh, say, summer, the rest of the summer and the fall. Uh, I got to call it off here before I get run over by the beach rake. But I appreciate every following along. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, throw a comment down below and, and share what you've done this summer. Have a great day.